In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install and configure the Content Views Post, Grid, and List for WordPress plugin. So let's go to your dashboard. So if you click on the upper left hand side of your site and go to Dashboard, look to your left and go down to Plugins and click on Add New. Now let's search for this plugin. Let's go Content Views and let it populate. This is our plugin right here. Go ahead and click on Install Now. Click on Activate. OK. Now if you look on the left hand side, you'll see Content Views. Since we don't have any, there won't be anything listed under All Views. If you click into Settings, this will take you to see some of the pro options if you decide to upgrade. If you want to get the documentation for this plugin that gives you more details, go ahead and click on this and it will pop it up. But let's just go ahead and add a new content view. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this a title. I'm just going to title this one Blog. I want it to populate Post, so I'm going to leave this as Post. You can include only, you can exclude, and you can limit. I will leave this at 10. If you look in their Events section, I want to sort this by Categories. So if you click on this, it will bring this down. Now there is a Pro version that lets you get a little more detailed but this is the light version. So I'm going to click on Categories. I'm going to select Categories from here. Go ahead and click on Blog. I'm going to leave this as In, Show Post, which match any selected terms. Now if you go to the top, we can go to our Display Settings. I'm going to show this as a grid. You can have it in different versions. You can have a collapsible list, a scrollable list, but like I said, I want to show this in grid. You can show items per row, so I'm going to leave this as two. You have the mobile view, I'm going to leave this as one. Show thumbnail and text vertically. You can show thumbnail on the right or the left of text. We'll go ahead and show vertically. You can show the thumbnail, show title, show content. It depends what you want to show. You can even show the meta fields if you want, like the author, date, and so forth. Go ahead and select which one. I'm going to leave this as the H4. You can select a thumbnail size. I'm going to stick with the 300 by 300. Under content, you can show full content. I prefer to show only a little bit of it, so we'll choose the show excerpt. You can choose the number of words you wish to show. I'll just leave that at 20. Okay, you can have it state read more, learn more. I'll just leave this as read more as my text. You can click on this to enable it, pagination. I'm going to leave it. And then you can have it show whether you want it to open in the current tab or a new tab. I'm just going to leave this to open in the current tab. Once you are done, click on the blue Save button. OK, so you can see right here at the top, this gives us a short code. So we are going to copy this. Now let's go ahead and create a new page. Now this plugin is great if you want to go ahead and show a specific category, but you want text to be above the category, and you want to add this somewhere on your website. I love to use this plugin because you can actually add text or images above the category. In WordPress, they don't make it easy to edit some of your category pages. Those archive pages are nestled deep in your files. So this makes it easy for someone to go ahead and do it themselves. So I'm going to enter something here. I could just call this blog if I desire. 
Or you can even just title it if you want something specific, learn more about me or get to know me, whatever you want to state it as. Let's go to our visual editor. And we are going to go ahead and paste that code in here. Now let's say we want to add some text above it. Go ahead and enter down. I have some dummy text I'll go ahead and post. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. You can put whatever text you want. I'll paste that back in here. Okay, once you are satisfied with this, you can go ahead and preview it. So if you were to link this anywhere within your WordPress site, let's say you want to add this specific link to your navigation bar at the top, you can. If you want to add it somewhere in a sidebar with an image and something stated over it, you can do that. But if you look at this, it went ahead and it populated all of my posts from that specific category right under the text that I entered here. So like I said, if you want to be more specific and you still want it to populate posts from a category, this is a perfect plugin that will make it so easy for you to do so. So let's say you don't like the two column grid format. Let's go ahead and change the layout. So if you go into your dashboard, go down to content views and click on all views. Here's the view we just created. Click on edit. Go to the display settings tab. I'll leave this as a grid. We'll change this to one item per row. We'll also change it in the responsive. Let's change the thumbnail to be shown on the left or the right hand side of the text. Go ahead and click on save at the top. Let's view this page again. You see how the layout has changed. We still have our text here at the top. This could also be some kind of header that you create so you can add an image instead of text. But our posts that are populated looks like they are one right under the other instead of being in a two column format. So you definitely have options with this plugin. I really do love it. It makes it easy to create pages that look beautiful that also have different categories populated beneath them. So now you know how to create content views with the Content Views plugin.